I think that, as I said before, more people should be talking about the question of agency and, and of motive. From my own perspective, and I've sent this in countless videos, too many people too many people believe that religions made up the notion of free will. I think that's what people think. I think there are, there are people who have been, they've been talked into this. That is, they have been told that the religious dogma invented the notion of free will. And there is a sense in which that's true. Yes, free will as a concept has largely come from religious institutions and dogma. But the sense of agency by which people created institutions of religion and dogma to try to hide from that agency was not invented by the religions. No, you could just as well say that there is a peculiar kind of agency that nature evolved, which is the human. That is, we are that part of nature which evolved the agency which then created religions as a way to sanctify that action, as a way to give it legitimacy because there was a fearfulness that came from the kind of power of being released from immediate causal forces. See, I think part of the problem is that there's a kind of representationalism that symbolic language makes possible. So I'm going to end really quickly here, and, and I don't want to be part of the conversation. I, I don't know why I'm, I'm posting this. In some way, it's, it's, it seems silly, because I, I don't find it that useful. It seems silly. I think the issue that I would want people to think about who are really concerned about understanding this issue, not just about being right, <clears throat> here's the way I would ask you to try to think about the issue. Many people have said that, in this I agree with, that Part of the problem of free will, the, the, the notion of free will, is that people think that they could have done otherwise. They look back over their lives, and when they sort of imaginatively reflect over various choices they make, they pretend that they could have just as well done something else. And what they're doing is they're denying that they were there and made those decisions. Now, some people want to just, I guess, kind of reduce it to it was, it wasn't a choice at all. It was just following out of this like domino effect from previous causes. And that any decision that you do make really was kind of precast by all of the causes that led you to think the way you do in order to make that decision. I mean, there's a, this is kind of the argument. I guess the, the question is, how was that evolutionarily possible? That is, what was the evolutionary develop? What were those evolutionary developments that enabled an organism to, in its imagination, rethink about something that had already happened, and like imaginatively place itself in relation to this imagined, remembered environment? And how was it able to to take seriously? the idea that it could have done otherwise. See, I think the more that people would try to understand that and study it and see to what extent people have a psychological experience of being able to imagine that they could have done otherwise, then they should flip that around. As soon as they get that, they should flip that around and see how you're doing that actually about the future. You're entertaining possibilities as as, as probabilities, and you're then following some out by being able to symbolically represent them. 